Hello, this is a guided meditation to go with our session from the 20th of December on the theme of loving kindness. Um, so what's a loving kindness meditation all about? Well, kind of says it in the title, it's all about loving kindness. Um, but a loving kindness meditation isn't necessarily just about feeling good or feeling warm. Um, it's about going a little bit deeper than that into the concepts of compassion, uh, even in the face of difficulty. Um, often in life, there are times when things get challenging. We might feel the world is just not sitting very comfortably and often we all hear that little voice inside our heads it wouldn't give us any peace it might be the inner critic always a little voice in the background telling you what you're not doing well what you could have done better why whatever you achieved is maybe not good enough or it might be that inner critic that nags away telling you that you have been let down in some way by things that happened. Things never go your way, they're always better for somebody else, the grass is always greener on the other side of the fence. So loving kindness takes us kind of into a dialogue with those feelings and with that inner voice. Um, and with our mindfulness, we can be aware of it. Remember sitting by the river, watching things floating by, watching the currents in the river as it flows. So we can use our mindfulness to watch those thoughts as they come and go, and even to recognize the emotions that they bring up and the sensations in the body. But we also have the choice to take a step back from those and to adopt that position of the compassionate observer and to watch with kindness and with gentleness and to give yourself a break and just say, you know what, everyone, all of us, every single person on this planet has an inner critic and we all have at some times a feeling that life is not going our way and we all have times when we might be even suffering and that's a common human condition and therefore the compassionate observer becomes more than just an observer because we recognize having lived through suffering and knowing what it feels like when we see somebody else, we can feel compassion for them too. We can take our own knowledge of how it feels to be in a place of suffering and we can use that to try and connect in some way with what other people are feeling. So even in times of difficulty, it is possible. In fact, maybe even especially in times of difficulty, if we go beneath that suffering, there is within us all um, a core of compassion and love uh, that we can use uh, to open a dialogue with whatever is difficult uh, and to open up that love and that light and that warmth and that connection between ourselves, all the different emotions and those that are being experienced by those around us. So we're going to do a loving kindness meditation, which is going to explore how we can use this um, to build a dialogue with ourselves, but also to open up feelings of loving kindness and compassion for those around us that we meet in life. So this is a meditation which takes us on a bit of a journey. Um, once we're settled into the meditation, uh, instead of going where we usually go in a meditation, so far we've done 
finding an anchor in the breath and we've also done finding an anchor in the feet or the body grounded. For this meditation we're going to centre here. We're going to connect with our heart centre um, and might not necessarily just be here but you might feel the emotions all through the chest and the torso. There, there may even be sensations that go up the back of the neck or into the jaw or, or down into the core of the body. But everything that we're going to focus on will be centred on the heart space. Um, but also, as we always do in mindfulness, just keep an eye on what's going on in the mind. Um, without diving into the river, just sitting on the river bank, watching those thoughts as they rise and fade by themselves um, and observing the patterns that, are, that come up. And if at any point this becomes an exercise of difficulty, always meet that with compassion, with acceptance. Um, and as always, if it becomes too strong, you can always come back into the breath or you can come back into the, the body, grounded, connected to the ground, and then you can look back at those feelings from a place of safety, turn towards them, befriend them, listen to what they have to say. In this meditation, we're going to start by bringing to mind a dearly loved person, um, a person for whom it's easy to feel a warmth, uh, a love, uh, and a compassion. Um, then we're going to move on to all the people that we might meet in our everyday life. People who might be driving buses, or they might be at the checkout of a supermarket, or they might be in a queue that we're standing in, they might be sitting beside us on a bus, they might be the people that we're walking past when we go up and down the street, might be people that are kind of acquaintances at work but we don't know very well. And we're going to hold them in loving kindness too and remember that they too are people who have difficulty and uh, people who have an inner critic and people who, just like we do, need some warmth and some kindness. Then we're going to move to a person we find challenging. There may be many, depending on who you work with or people in your family or friends even, who might from time to time trigger you in some way or just push the wrong buttons, um, then really welcome that as a chance to develop your practice. Um, so meet that with loving kindness as well um, and sit with whatever feelings arise um, as you hold that person in loving kindness. Um, then the meditation is going to develop to kind of open up loving kindness um, to a whole group and then finally to the world at large. And there's a little surprise somewhere in this meditation too, so be prepared for whatever arises when that surprise comes up. So as always for this meditation, we're going to adopt a position of dignified awakeness um, with the spine upright but relaxed. Let's make sure the shoulders are soft. Make sure we've got the feet grounded on the floor and that we're sitting grounded on the chair or the sofa, the surface that we're on. And for this meditation, if you're comfortable with this, the eyes closed because we're looking inward. If you're more comfortable with your eyes open, then a lowered gaze and perhaps a softened gaze. Okay, so we're going to begin the meditation now. Make sure you're in your posture. Dropping into this meditation, first of all through the physical sensations of sitting, 
checking in with areas of contact with the floor and the chair. Perhaps bringing attention to the sensations in the feet. Maybe even just wiggling the toes, feeling the ground solid beneath us. Expanding awareness to bring in the buttocks, the sit bones, in contact with the chair. Holding the feet and the region in contact with the chair in awareness. Using this to recognise being grounded and secure. Now widening awareness once more, bringing attention to the back and the shoulders and how our body is supported from the ground through the feet, through the buttocks, through the spine and the shoulders. Just checking in, how is it in the body right now? And in finding any areas of tension or holding, using the breath to breathe into those and using the out breath to soften them gently. Maybe dropping the shoulders slightly. Maybe adjusting the posture if necessary. Just using this breath now to go a little bit deeper into the meditation. Opening awareness to the sensations of breathing in the belly and the chest. The rise and fall of the diaphragm and the ribs. And remembering we're here to accept and to observe whatever is here. Checking in, how is it in the breath right now? Now for this meditation, shifting attention into the heart area. And if necessary, placing a hand on that region to bring focus. How does it feel in the heart right now? Checking in for any sensations.
holding any emotions or any thoughts in awareness, recognizing what is here. And then using an out breath to let it go, returning attention to a new beginning with each new breath. For this first part of the meditation, bringing to mind a dearly loved person, either holding their image in your heart opening up the emotions associated with this person. holding their name in your heart. And then either out loud or in silence, repeating these words for this dearly loved person. And you can use their name May they be safe. May they be well. May they be happy. May they live with ease. May they be free from pain and suffering. Holding an awareness, any sensations or any thoughts as we repeat this loving kindness towards our loved person. May they be safe. May they be well. May they be happy. May they live with ease. May they be free from pain and suffering. On an in-breath, breathing in to all that we feel for this loved person. And on an out-breath, letting them go and just setting them to the side. And on the next in-breath, bringing to mind a casual acquaintance. This may be one person in particular, or it may be that you can hold an awareness many people that you encounter on your daily routine and bring them into your heart and hold them there while we repeat for them some loving kindness. May they be safe.
May they be well. May they be happy. May they live with ease. May they be free from pain and suffering. And for a minute, just holding these people or this person in your heart and sitting with whatever thoughts or feelings arise. Now, on an in-breath, breathing in to this person or these people that we hold in our heart, and on an out-breath, letting them go and setting them to the side. On an in-breath, bringing to mind someone challenging Someone perhaps who causes you difficulty, maybe even someone who causes you pain. Checking in just for a few moments, how does it feel to hold this person in your heart? It may be that several people come to mind. If you can, hold them all in your heart. Recognize that we are all human beings sharing the same human experiences. We all have difficulty and suffering and we all deserve loving kindness. Bringing this person or these people to mind, however challenging they may be, repeating for them wishes of loving kindness. May they be safe. May they be well. May they be happy. May they live with ease.
May they be free from pain and suffering. Holding this challenging person in your heart, checking in, how does it feel in the body? How does it feel in the heart? Now, once again, holding this person deep in your heart, imagining them warm and loved, sending them wishes of loving kindness. May they be safe. be happy. May they live with ease. May they be free from pain and suffering. breath, breathing in to this difficult person that we hold in our hearts and on an out breath letting them go and setting them on one side. Now in this meditation it's time to open your heart to yourself. So maybe bringing your other hand placing it over the first one maybe even giving yourself a little hug just checking in how it feels to hold yourself in your heart and to hold yourself in love and to repeat for yourself these wishes of loving kindness May I be safe. May I be well. May I be happy. May I live with ease. May I be free from pain and suffering. And for a minute, just hold yourself in love. Checking in with how this feels in the body. How this feels in the emotions.
and repeating once more our well-deserved love for ourselves. May I be safe. May I be well. May I be happy. May I live with ease. May I be free from pain and suffering. And now breathing in to yourself held in love. And on an out breath, bringing in all the others that we've already held. Bring back in our dearly beloved person. Bring back in our casual acquaintances. Welcome back in our difficult and challenging person. Holding all of these together and ourself connected together in suffering and also in joy. And wishing this group that we belong to loving kindness. May we all be safe. May we all be well. May we all be happy. May we all live with ease. May we all be free from pain and suffering. Holding this group together in your heart, imagining you all surrounded by light and warmth, imagining you all meeting each other's gaze, recognizing each other's common humanity and sharing love. sharing compassion. And on an in breath, imagining this whole group reciting together. May we all be safe. May we all be well. May we all be happy. May we all live with ease. May we all be free from pain and suffering.
Now imagine this group forming a circle. And then each member of the circle facing outwards, holding our hearts open to all living beings. Imagining that light shining out from the group and the warmth of the love shared for all living beings as we all recite together. May all living beings be safe. May all living beings be well. May all living beings be happy. May all living beings live with ease. May all living beings be free from pain and suffering. Checking in, how does it feel in the heart right now? How does it feel in the breath? Holding that whole heart region in awareness and following all the sensations wherever they may connect throughout the body. Holding in awareness your dearly beloved, all your casual acquaintances, all your difficult people, yourself and all beings, holding them in awareness as you gently open your eyes and bring yourself back into your day.